Hey what's up guys, The Artworker here and welcome to this Senna video, the newly released champion uh, in Wild Drift. I'm doing this at 4am by the way so if I'm doing any mistakes then forgive me. Um, if you guys want to see a guide for this champion then definitely make sure to write it down in the comments and smash the like button. Anyways let's talk about the builds. There are three builds for Senna. I talked with Random and I talked with Doom and they are the Encyclopedia of Wild Drift and League of Legends PC. So we talked about what's the best build and Doom told me Lethality. Lethality Senna is probably the best build um, because you will have reduced damage going for crit on Senna. So crit might not be the best build for her. So let's focus on the lethality build first. It's gonna be mana immune. It's good for mana, ability haste, um, scaling AD, and then, wait a second, where is it? Uh, Dustblade, Dustblade great synergy with a third ability of Senna. So you can keep proccing this passive from the Dustblade doing additional damage and then rapid fire cannon to extend your range that's awesome for your first ability more to reminder very obviously armor penetration in the late game um, great for tank shredding and then humus ghost blade for the runes this is pretty common for every of those builds it's gonna be fleet then hunter vampirism then the armor and magic resistance scaling and the mana flow great synergy with uh, mana immune for the spells heal flash barrier flash okay second build is gonna be crit build okay the first build is the best build in the opinion of tribe doom pro player uh, tier 1 team and second one is gonna be from game lord random he prefers to go for the crit center which is going to be Mana Mune, Infinity Edge, Rapid Fire Cannon, um, Mortal Reminder and Guardian Angel. And then also you have the Fasting build, which is going to be the Support Center. If you guys want to see Support Center, this is really popular on the PC version. It's going to be Fro Frozen Mallet, Black Cleaver, Cooldown Reduction Boots, Rapid Fire Cannon, Dust Plate, Guardian Angel and for the runes, you go weakness for the second ability and also grasp since you can stack grasp uh, really well using Senna. So that's gonna be it for the builds and let's hop right into the gameplay and I'm gonna talk during the gameplay about her abilities and some tips and tricks here and there. Okay, let's hop right into it. So let's talk about Senna's abilities. For the passive, this passive is um, crazy good because, let's talk about it. Wait, this is so long, wait a second, I need to open the passive first. Senna's basic attacks on hit and damaging abilities on enemy champions apply mist for 4 seconds. Refresh to 0.75 seconds if Senna starts winding up a basic attack on them. If Senna applies mist to the same target twice, she collects it, dealing 1 to 16% of target's current health as bonus physical damage depending on the level. And making the target immune to further missed applications for a few seconds. Enemy units that die near Senna have a chance to spawn a missed wraith for 8 seconds, increased to 2 missed wraiths for epic monsters. Senna can basic attack or use piercing darkness or Dawning Shadow against a Mist Wraith to destroy it, gaining 8 gold and collecting its Mist. The gold is, might be different, the number might be a little bit different uh, because I'm reading the PC stuff right now. Enemy champions, large and epic monsters are guaranteed to give a Mist. Minions and lesser monsters that Senna kills have a 4% chance, large minions that Senna doesn't kill are guaranteed while lesser minions and lesser monsters that Senna doesn't have a 28% chance. Each stack of missed grounds Senna opens 75 bonus attack damage 
For every 20 stacks, Senna also gains bonus range and critical strike chance. When upon exceeding 100% critical strike chance, Senna converts 35% of the excess into life skill. Senna's basic attack deal 20% AD bonus physical damage on hit and grant 10, 15, 20 of the target's movement speed as bonus movement speed for 0.5 seconds on it. So Senna's passive is basically just collecting swords from minions most of the times and the more stacks you have the more bow bony you're gonna get for attack damage uh, bonus range and critical strike chance so that's really awesome and with rapid fire cannon you will have so much range uh, first ability bread and butter i'm gonna just say to you guys the order it's gonna be obviously ultimate first ability second ability and then third ability first ability is piercing darkness Senna shoots a bolt of piercing shadow through an ally or enemy. Enemy hit, take physical damage, ally champions are getting healed. So that's why the fasting Senna support build works. For example. And plus one. Ooh, the more lethality you have, the more healing rate. Yeah, the more healing as well. Basic attacks reduce piercing darkness cooldown by one second. Okay, that's nice. Target range. Okay. This might differ to Wild 600 to 1300, depending on the souls. Last embrace. Senna sends forth a wave of black mist, which latches onto the first enemy hit, dealing physical damage, and after one second delay, the target and all nearby enemies are rooted. The third ability, this one is so fucking crazy good. Senna draws the mist she has stored in her weapon into a storm around her. She gets untargetable. But if you use any ability or auto attacks, you get out of the untargetable uh, third ability. You get increased movement speed as well, and you can hide. Uh, your nearby allies as well. This is insane to dodge uh, abilities like cannon ultimate for example. Huge ultimates can be dodged with a third ability because you are not targetable and you can also apply it to nearby allies. Also when you use it you get your since you are not targetable oh, there was a nice flash uh, second ability to root him uh, since you're not targetable, your dust blade also resets while using this, so that's awesome. Then the ultimate is Senna reveals herself before firing two beams of spectral light into the target direction, granting sight of the area briefly along its path. The center beam deals more damage than the outer uh, part. The broad beam gives Senna and ally champion hit a shield and you also collect all the souls on the way. But yeah, that's it for the abilities. Um, what tip can I give you? It's very similar to Lucian that you can uh, use the S1 on any target actually. No, actually it's better. On Lucian you usually want to use your S1 on on the minion but with the s1 from senna you can use it on wards you can use it on whatever anything that you can target on you can use the s1 on and it will splash behind similar to lucian's s1 so if you hit something in front of you you will hit even further so that's really awesome And second ability, usually you want to combine it with a root from someone, like for example Alistair in this case, he will root someone, you can use this too, and uh, CC chain. Third ability, great to dodge stuff and great to escape. Great to chase, great to um, escape, so the third ability is really great, and the ultimate is just a finisher in the team fight. Or you can use it 
at the beginning of the team fight to give everyone in your team a shield. Okay, let's see. Okay, he wants to engage actually, very aggressive. Okay, Evelyn's coming though. So, I used my third ability to save my Alistair. I'm gonna root him. Ultimate, they're getting shield and the people in the center of the ultimate are gonna receive a big amount of damage as well. I'm gonna use my second ability to root him. Actually, I have to flash because of the Leona. Okay, let's chase this guy down and let's go. Good team fight. Okay, Inferno Dragon is up. And the enemy jungler is dead. I'm not gonna take this one, so the Evelyn is gonna get some HP back, even though I'm low mana. Cannon is coming. Guys, look at this, what I'm doing. Cannon is coming. I know he's gonna use his ultimate, so I'm just using my third ability. And he can hit us. He can target us. So it's really great to avoid huge ultimates and stuff like that. Um, and avoid on-hit abilities by going untargetable. But obviously you have to use good timing. Okay, nice engage. Unfortunately, they surrender, so the gameplay is kind of short. Not gonna lie, we snowballed pretty hard, but as you guys can see, uh, Senna? I mean, we need to get her into the late game usually. Then, I might do another gameplay pretty soon, but just wanted to get this one out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, and I see you next time. I'm gonna make a guide soon for Senna as well, so don't miss this one out. Bye bye.